Okay, this is uh, my lab. This is my little whiteboard that I use to write stuff. And then I have uh, my computer here. And as you can see, I'm logged to work so I can get my email messages. Okay. And then, uh, and then I have my tra uh, curve tracer right here. Uh -huh. I can match transistors here by flipping. So you can tell that these are not exactly match. But I can get an assortment of transistors. Okay, I got this cabinet. This cabinet has uh, some some of my older equipment. Uh, when I used to be a tier repairman, I got a VTVM, which is still useful. I actually have two VTVMs, uh, an audio oscillator, an RF oscillator, uh, frequency counter, two frequency counters there, and uh, this is uh, the one with the two meters. That's a stereo power amplifier, and then this one in the middle, that's for TV alignment. Those are not used anymore. Anyway, I have those equipment, and I have a little my little grinder here. So when I need to grind some stuff. I can do it. Okay. And then I have this uh, vintage, uh, believe it or not, it's a micro amp meter, ultra sensitive. So that one works. I have a uh, Tektronic scope, and I have a microscope over there. And then I have my library of engineering books right there. So I got three cabinets full of books. And then I have a whole series, a slew of uh, videos as well from uh, Idaho. Very good resources. And then I have my lab bench. Here's my Rico uh, car supply, and then also have uh, this is the electronic load. It's uh, an array power uh, electronic um, load, and then I have a second one. This is a BK electronic load, and then on top is my little clever scope. That's a FRA. That's what I use it more, most. And then right now my uh, Agilent is out for repair slash calibration, so I'm using my backup. This is my four-channel Rigel. Okay. And then in addition to this power supply, which is more like a lab type uh, position, right? I have regular power supplies. This one's a zero to 100 volt power supply up to 3 amps, no 1 amp, and this is a triple power supply, this is a 0 to 30, 3 amps, and uh, it has a fixed 5 volt, and then for testing or measuring ohms, I have my uh, Rigel uh, digital DVM, I have uh, here my Rigel uh, function generator, I'm sorry, yeah, it's a function generator, so that's my uh, what I actually have two function generators, actually three. And then I have this one. This is the uh, latest one. That's a function generator, an arbitrary waveform generator. And then I have a older uh, waveform or function generator. So I had that. Okay. Then on here I have my uh, Haku soldering iron uh, for uh, fine and then this is my blackjack soldering iron this is my favorite one uh, I'm able to use uh, the pencil or I can also use tweezers so it's capable of doing that okay then when I'm testing high voltage I have my 0 to 5 KV power supply. Okay. And then I have 
two LCR meters. Uh, this one goes up to 10 kilohertz. This one goes to 100 kilohertz. And I even have another one, which is the LC meter from almost all digital electronics. And then I have my, uh, going over here, I have my uh, heat gun, hot air gun. This is my hot air gun. Okay. And then I have my microscope here. Okay. It's a 10, uh, 10x. And uh, I like it very much. It works very well. And then I have an assortment of resistors. These are half a watt. And then I also have a bunch of uh, parts. I have a uh, Shackies, diodes, MOSFETs, uh, digital logic, CMOS, are the 2N22s, 2907s, a bunch of parts. I have capacitors right there. I have inductors. I have ferrite beads. These are ferrite beads that I use. Those are useful for filtering high frequency stuff. Uh, I got the shrink, I got quarter watt resistors, a full set, uh, I believe I also have over here, this is my regular chemical stuff, I have my isopropyl, my flux off, more parts, I have assortment of batteries, uh, 9 and uh, AA and AAA. Let's see, I have some lubricants, so forth, and then I also have uh, soldering iron, uh, no, no, wires, captive tape. Now, this is all stuff that I've bought, in. this is not from work, this is stuff that I bought from uh, Amazon, so all of that is out of my expense. Uh, let me see what else, and then I have rolls a wire that comes in handy okay I also have rolls of different color wires just in case I need that also have a day key box for resistors and trying to keep everything organized also have a brother label maker okay and for when I need to drill stuff, I have my uh, my uh, drill comes in real handy. I can roby. It's an impact gun, so I can screw stuff in. I use it uh, for here in the lab and also for work stuff, or not work, but stuff around the house. And then I have my panel vise. I have this uh, panel vise, which is supposed to uh, hold my printer circuit boards. Okay. And then I have a larger panel vise for bigger circuit boards that I build. Okay. And I have an assortment of cables. And assortment of, of uh, scope probes. Okay. Uh, so those are all my scope probes. And I also have an assortment of banana to banana plugs. These are my banana to banana. Okay. And then I have banana to test points or clips and I have cables BNC to test clips okay and then I have an assortment of banana I'm sorry BNC to BNC okay so cabling is very important 
and all of those I bought from uh, Amazon.com at a pretty good price. So, as far as testing is concerned, uh, testing uh, it's a little bit more convenient uh, than doing that at work. Plus, since I have everything here, I usually am more efficient. Okay.